Hi, and welcome to the Teaching Corner. In a recent video, we talked about 15 tips and tricks for study skills for students. In that video, I said I was gonna make a video about flashcards. So I wanted to talk to you about how to use flashcards effectively and to help students the most when they're using them. So the biggest thing is to not have a student cram every little bit of information on the front of a card. You really want them to kind of use space as a visual cue to help them. So one of the ways to do that is to have the student write the the word on the front of the card and then the definition on the back. I've actually then gone for this particular thing and at the bottom put examples. So at the front of this card we've got a noun and then it names a person, place, thing, or idea and then on the bottom it has examples. So now a student can use this card three different ways. If they look at the front of the card they can ask themselves, do I know the definition? names a person, place, or thing. Then they could give some examples. Or on the back, if they had it flipped over, they can cover up this part and say names a person, place, or thing and say, do I know what that is? It's a noun, can I give some examples? Or they can even look at the examples and say, do I know what that represents? Jane represents a person, so therefore it has to be a noun. So this card now has gone from just one way of studying to three. So another great thing with uh, cards that you can do is color coding. So I teach Orton Gillingham with some of my students and I use color to help us as we're going through different things. So I use yellow for prefixes, I use green for roots, and we use blue for suffixes. So you can use color coding for that. You could also, I have seen where students will color code a different color for each class. So history might be one color, science a different color. Um, it, just depending on what your needs are, you can use color for different things. And the last thing that I would say with this that's really helpful is if you've noticed, I put a little hole punch at the top and then you can buy these little rings like this and clip it together. So you could have multiple rings, but the great thing about this is they could then put this in their English binder and it stays with them wherever they go. Um, if you have a student who maybe has several different classes where they use it, you can also purchase a little box like this. I think we got this at Walmart, um, but you can purchase a box and then they can keep all of the various cards in here. Um, this also has a filing system. And again, you can purchase this at the store, but I've seen this used in very different ways. So either each different one could be a different class. I've seen it where the entire box was for English and so each different one was the different novels that they talked about and the different vocabulary that went along with those novels. And I have seen somebody who had it as a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And on Monday, they would study half of the vocab for a test. On Tuesday, the second half. On Wednesday, whatever cards they didn't get the first time on Monday or Tuesday, they'd put in Wednesdays. And then on Thursday, they would study all the cards the night before the test. So using a box like this can be very helpful for for students with their cards. The last thing I wanted to show you, if you have a student who really struggles with organization, and, but you wanna be able to utilize uh, the cards type system, you, I did purchase from my English class last year these little fat books, and it's just a little fat notebook that they could keep together. Um, we used it for analogies, so they would write the analogy at the top. This says cowardice is to courage, as haughtiness is to humility, and then at the top, on the back, they would write a sentence about how those two were related. In this case, it says they are opposites, and at the bottom of the page, they would then put what type of analogy it was or antonym. So this allows students to keep it in a way where it can't fall apart. They're not gonna lose individual cards, but they can keep it and then they can just slip this in the front of their backpack. So I hope that was helpful. If it was, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.